He is one of just a few surgeons in the country who have the delicate job of reattaching fingers. Healthy Living reporter Susan DeLeo introduces us to this doctor who has just arrived in the valley. And we want to let you know that some of the images you'll see are graphic. Dr. Michael Obang is a former college football player over six feet tall who performs his delicate surgery. He worked at the Harvard Medical School Training Hospital, Massachusetts General. His mentor, the man who pioneered microneurovascular surgery. Now, like if this finger is crushed, you have to cut out the crushed portion. All the blood vessels have been destroyed. So you want to cut it out, find good blood vessels, make sure he's bleeding. And make sure he bleeds and then you hook it back up. There are only a few of these specialized surgeries performed in the country. Dr. Obeng performed 35 of them just last year. One of Dr. Obeng's patients was a 54-year-old man who was a golfer. He lost his finger at work during an accident. But after the surgery, he was able to be back here at the golf course. And the critical point is hooking up the arteries. Once I hook up an artery and the artery is fine and the finger is pink, I can take a break. The nerve can be done any time. To bring the finger back to life, you have to repair the vessels. The work takes six hours on average using a huge microscope like this. Dr. Obang is just gearing up here at St. Elizabeth. He told me the best success comes from fingers which have been cut, not crushed, that the thumb is the most crucial to reattach, and that because his work requires the ultimate concentration, he never drinks coffee. With Healthy Living in Our Valley, I'm Susan DeLeo.